Pitzer has the opportunity in launching into a green building campaign to really walk its talk, to experiment with cutting edge technology, to demonstrate what's possible, and to have students experience that you can live in more sustainable ways and enjoy it, do better in it. This is an incredibly exciting opportunity for the college. It's an exciting time. Green building is simply a better way to build buildings. The buildings that result cost less to operate ever after. In many cases, they can actually cost less to build if you do it in a smart way. And they dramatically enhance the quality of life of the people within the buildings. In the workplace, a good green building can enhance labor productivity 6 to 16 percent. In an elementary school, it can increase test scores by up to 26 percent. In a retail outlet like a Walmart, it can increase sales by up to 40 percent. So there are real business case reasons for building green. And, and take some examples. There is a subdivision up in Northern California called Village Homes. The buildings are mostly solar. The roads are around back. This is not a car-centric subdivision. It is centered around green spaces. The temperatures are lower because of all of the greenery. So the buildings, even in a very hot climate, need little or no air conditioning. Because the buildings are well designed, they're well insulated, they need very little heat in the winter. They keep themselves comfortable and the people within them. This reduces the cost. This subdivision now has values of $25 a square foot over average market value in the area, 90% less crime than immediately adjacent subdivisions. It is, simply put, a better way to live. The way in which you design a building can have a big role in making your community more secure. For example, most buildings now are utterly dependent on massive, insecure infrastructure for their energy, their water, for the services to keep people comfortable within them. It doesn't have to be that way. Four Times Square, the flagship Durst building in New York City, is an example of what can be done in an urban setting. Here's a skyscraper that uses half the energy of a normal building, costs the same to build. Half of what looks like glass is actually photovoltaic cell generating electricity. There's a fuel cell in the basement. As a result, this building can never be shut off. And in the recent Northeast blackout, this was the only place around with light. People came from blocks around to camp out underneath it. This is a building that costs the same to build. It produces its own energy. It cannot be shut off. You can charge premium rates. It's a high-performance building. What's not to like?